Hello to no one, I guess, since this is the first video I'm making. Um, my name's Caroline. I'm a full-time student, a senior actually, in college, finishing up my degree. And I work full-time as a leasing and marketing manager. And I also have a little side gig where I shoot for a local band in my town and manage their social media. Um, so I really just wanted to kind of show you my day, how I manage, I guess, um, you know, uh, work courses, homework, tests, exams. It's actually finals week this week. Um, but also, you know, giving enough effort to my side gig and to my job. Um, it's definitely not easy and I, I, I know that I'm not the only person doing this so I don't want to be like, oh look at me, but there might be some other people out there that are having to, you know, hustle this hard and so I just wanted to um, kind of show you what I do. It's not perfect and it sometimes leads to mental breakdowns, but that's why you have really good um, friends and a supporting group behind you. Um, so yeah, this is my day. I'm probably about to get some makeup on even though I'm staying home for a work day because if I don't put on makeup I'll get really comfortable and probably take a nap on the couch and it just makes me feel a little bit better about myself like I've started the day off. Um, so here's my day. Okay, this is about as far as I got. I just did my brows because Laura knows these things need to be tamed. Sorry, June is confused as to why I'm talking about myself. Where are you? Come here. Can you say hey? I guess I should introduce them too. So this is June, Junie, and then Biggie, and then, oh, Presley. This is Presley. Um, I adopted Presley. June, um, my sister actually had her litter, and then some of our friends found Biggie in the woods by himself, so that's how we came across Biggie. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've got a little bit of makeup on. Usually the first thing I do every day is I take a look at my planner just to see what I have going on today specifically, but then for the rest of the week. Um, I heavily, heavily rely on my weekly planner. That's how I stay sane, and I don't know how I did it without one. Um, so let me show you that. Okay, so this is just a weekly planner that I used. I got this off of Amazon. I think it was very cheap, and it's lasted me for, oh, Lord. It's lasted me for a very long time. There's still like a bunch left. Um, it has like top three things to do this week, everything else, uh, something fun, which I thought was cute. And then it also has just like room to put daily tasks. Um, and what's really cool, you can put like what week you're doing, what's your healthy habit of the week. Usually I'll put like drink, so-and-so amount of water or work out and then it has little boxes on each day for habit to check it off if you did it so you can keep track um, at the end of the week if you wanted to save these you could because there's like rocked it room for improvement you can really track what you're doing so it looks a little bit lighter this week just because of you know it's the end of the semester 
it's finals week, you see a couple final exams due, um, but typically this is full. <laughs> Something about myself is I am, I am kind of planner obsessed. I don't know. I haven't had coffee this morning, so I can't talk right yet. Just give me some time. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with planners and planning in general. Um, so I splurged a little bit and bought an Erin Condren planner. Um, I really love this. I don't use it day to day necessarily. I'm, that's what I use my little weekly overview for, but this is great for like, sorry, the dogs are wrestling. This is great for like larger events if you have coming up. I mean, you could use this alone. It is really great. Um, it seems kind of overkill, but I like to put all of my assignments, you know, um, side jobs, everything in my Erin Condren planner. And then the week before, usually on like Sunday nights is when I do it, I go through my Erin Condren planner to put things in my weekly planner. So really, my Erin Condren has it all for like the rest of the year into next year. And then my weekly planner is when I sit down and go through like, okay, what do I need to do this week? So that's just how I manage it. There's definitely cheaper options. Um, this is something I've been wanting for a long time and I finally convinced myself to buy it. Don't feel like you have to spend 80 bucks on a planner. Walmart, Dollar General has them for like five bucks, I bet, you know, depending on what size you want. So I'm very organized in the sense of like, I have to have everything written down in a planner, but that's just how I can keep up with all my assignments, all my, you know, side jobs, everything like that. So I don't miss anything. I'm gonna make some coffee really quick and then we'll talk about my day. Shout out to John Emerald Distilling in Opelika for the coolest mug. I collect coffee mugs, but this one is by far my favorite because it says, your coffee wants some whiskey too. Okay, so today, um, I do have off of my job, which is awesome. My coworkers are amazing because they're just great um, and I told them I really needed this day to work on other things um, so today what I'm gonna be doing is working on a website that is a part of a final project for one of my classes um, that's due coming up soon and I procrastinated just a little bit um, on that so I really have a good amount of work to do on that and then I have an exam to take today um, just before midnight uh, it's an Italian exam so I have to do that um, I have courses with you know just a little bit of last um, assignments left that I have to do um, and then with the band that I'm working with I need to edit some captions and some photos for the upcoming weeks also I have a shoot with them this weekend I need to start prepping for that um, so I'm not like rushing to do it all on Saturday um, so I've got a lot to do and this is again where it comes into me being super planny and organized um, I'm just a very list oriented person so um, you know usually right now I'm drinking my coffee I'm looking at um, my weekly overview and if I have a lot to do in one day what I'll do is I'll organize it by priority so it could be okay what's you know do today that would definitely be at the top of the list I try not to save assignments you know to do them until the day that they're due but sometimes life happens and that's okay you still get them done it's just the day up um, so I'll, I'll put you know what has to be done today at the top um, something that I know maybe is going to take a little bit longer I'll put that maybe towards the middle or the bottom um, just because I don't want to spend all day doing one thing um, and then not have time to do like five or six other shorter tasks um, and this is what works best for me um, you know you definitely do have to figure out what works best for you what keeps you motivated what keeps you on track but lists work for me and I use them every day all the time so I'm probably gonna go through and make my list of what I should be working on first prioritizing and then get busy coffee first though Okay, so this is kind of what I came up with for my to-do list. I'm gonna be adding stuff to this, but this is what I've got right now. So some of my um, assignments, I have like three little kind of worksheets to do for this. Um, those aren't gonna take long, um, but they are due today, so that's at the top of my list. 
And then this is for my exam that's due tonight. I just want to review the study guide again. Um, so it's not going to take me long, but it is still a priority just because, you know, that exam is due tonight. Website, um, I have a lot of editing, fine tuning, and adding to do. Um, so I just have to work on it a lot. But this is due on Friday. So yes, I want to prioritize it, but I do have time to work on it. It's not necessarily something that needs to be done today. So that's a little bit lower. And then um, editing photos, these are for next week and captions for this week. So if I don't get them done today, it's fine. Um, but I want to at least try to get them done. That way it's out of the way. So I'm definitely going to start here. And um, I'm not going to make y'all watch me work. So um, this is going to be kind of like a how-to video, but also like a blog. So maybe, um, did I say blog? I meant vlog. Maybe I'll check in with y'all later um, when I'm doing something else. Okay, I have been working for a few hours. <laughs> He's in the curtain right now. Watch out you. He's in the curtains. Okay, there you go, buddy. Good job. I've been working for a few hours. My eyes hurt, my head hurts, everything hurts. I think I need some outside time. I think the dogs need some outside time. So let's go. Diggy, come here. Hi, buddy. Oh, hi guys. What do you think? Okay, back inside in the warmth. Um, it's 12.30 now. I've kind of been working for a while, so I'm gonna take a brain break, probably for about an hour. This lighting is not doing me any justice. Um, take a break, eat some lunch, chill out a second, um, and then we'll be back to it. Checking in again, um, it's almost two now and I'm taking another break. I know you've seen me on my couch a lot today. Um, this isn't where I do work. I actually have a little desk set up that I'll probably show you in a little bit um, because I feel like I can just focus better there. Like in our living room, we have the TV and everything of course and I just get like distracted really easy. Like I can't really watch TV while I'm doing work. Um, so this is kind of where I'm taking my breaks and hanging out with the dogs. Um, they're kind of having a lazy day, but I'm not, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take a little break and then hop back into it. Sidebar, um, I just hit myself. <laughs> One thing that I am doing is um, taking like 30 minute intervals um, starting now. I wasn't doing that this morning because there was a couple things I just like wanted to get done and out of the way. Um, but for my sanity, starting now, like after this little... A um, few minute break. I'm gonna be doing like 30 minutes of work, 30 minutes of like cleaning something like I was talking about earlier, or just like a break break um, so I can like scroll on TikTok or something. Um, that's gonna be helpful for me because it'll keep me on track. And whenever I'm like doing my 30 minutes on, um, I'm gonna like put my phone away, not have like any TV on. I might have like music playing in the background but that'll be it just so i can like really focus during these 30 minutes um and feel good about like what i've done during those 30 minutes so that for the next 30 minutes i can just kind of tune out for a second so i think that'll work for me for the rest of the afternoon because i finished a few um things on my list but the two 
um, remaining tasks that I have, they're really time consuming. And I, my brain would be fried if I just like sat down and worked on it nonstop. I'm just, I'm not that kind of person. So um, that's gonna help me for like longer projects. So that's what I'm gonna do. I did wanna show y'all something really quick that I'm very, very excited about. Um, I'd been kind of debating on purchasing it for a while, but I finally did it over Black Friday and it came already, like it shipped so fast. It's this Polaroid camera. Um, I wanted something that looked vintage. I didn't really like the bubbly ones. That was just like my personal preference, the like newer looking ones. So this is a very, um, I don't want to say like realistic, but I guess it's truer to like the vintage style and shape of Polaroid. I hope y'all can see that okay. Um, sorry, ignore the Christmas gifts. But yeah, so I'm really excited about that. I think I'm gonna use it with the band this weekend. Chef's kiss, those pictures are gonna be so cool already, I know. Um, so yeah, that's just something I'm excited about right now. <laughs> okay, I had to get out of the house because I've just been inside all day other than taking the dogs out. So I am gonna run to get some Pedialyte because I'm a child. And then I have to go get some more dry shampoo that y'all saw me using earlier from Ulta. Um, so I will see you guys, why am I blurry? I'm not gonna, like video while I drive um, because safety so I'll probably see y'all later bye hello there it is much much later as you can see it's dark out um, <laughs> I'm alive barely I was working for about math is hard four hours straight four and a half hours straight um, I'm brain dead I was doing my 30 minute interval thing, but really only to like let the dogs out um, because I kind of just got into it and got stressing and was like, I have to finish this all now. So um, I need a break. Um, <laughs> sentences are hard right now, but I need a little break. So I think I'm gonna bake something. Um, Nick, my husband loves whenever I bake and I love baking. So I think we'll do it. Oh, okay guys. Um, okay, so this is me baking probably chocolate chips because he loves my chocolate chip cookies. I do want to brag on my husband for a second and also kind of expose us um, because the other day I was just having a really long day. It wasn't bad, it was just long at work. And he kept texting me something like, I have something that I did for you and I'm so excited. I, I wanna tell you about it now, but I'm gonna wait till you get home. And I was like, what could he have done? He baked a pie, a pecan pie that with some pecans that my dad gave us. He baked a pie. Isn't that the sweetest thing you've ever seen? And at first I was like, I'm the baker in the family. Is he trying to come for my title? But it's delicious. And I said expose us because you can see that we've kind of just started eating away at it. We started with slices the first night, but then now we just kind of like walk by and like scoop some up with a spoon. So you know how it goes. Hi, okay, first off, this is the cookie uh, recipe that I'm gonna be using. I don't know if you can see that. It's the best um, soft chocolate chip cookies from Pinch of Yum. I have used this recipe probably every time I've made cookies for the past mm -hmm. year. I know, June. Um, every time I make them, I get compliments on them and it's a really, really easy recipe. So definitely check out the best soft chocolate chip cookies from the Pinch of Yum website.
Here we go. Watch out, Biggie. Get back. Watch your nose. You're not going to like it. Don't do it. Okay. All right. Cool thing about this recipe is that it makes ginormous cookies. You can make the like dough balls smaller if you wanted to, but I like them big. Sorry. Um, look at that. And they're supposed to be kind of doughy, you know, not really a, a stiff cookie. They're supposed to be really chewy, really soft. And so whenever I pull them out of the oven, what I like to do is sprinkle some um, pink Himalayan salt on top. A little salty and sweet, but like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but those are some big cookies. So I'm gonna sprinkle some salt, let them cool, and I bet Nick is gonna be so excited. Okay, I've had my baking fun. I do need to get back to work. Um, I'll probably work for about another hour or so. I don't want to work all night because I have been working all day and I need to take care of myself too. Um, isn't that right, buddy? Is that right? So I'll probably work for another hour or so um, and then I will start cooking dinner. Um, Nick has to work until 8, so I like to have it ready like whenever he walks in the door because he does the same for me. Um, let me show you what I'm actually doing for dinner. So I have this ground bison that I get from Walmart. Um, kind of random, but it's really good. Um, I don't know how it compares to like ground beef or anything, but Nick showed it to me. He really likes it, so we started eating it. Um, what I do with the ground bison is I actually make ground bison quesadillas. Um, sounds really random, but um, I just I actually have a quesadilla maker. It's almost like a panini press, but it, like it's in a circle and it like cuts the triangles in the quesadilla. Um, so what you do is you just put like a tortilla, your filling, I like to do like a little bit of cheese, tortilla, and then you just close it down. So it's super easy to make, super yummy, Nick and I both like it. And after I've been working all day, I really don't feel like cooking something really ornate. Um, so it's just something simple and yummy that we can do. But enough procrastinating, I need to go back to work um, I think after dinner I might try to do my nails because they're looking rough um, and I do my nails at home with dip powder uh, so I can show you that process um, I'm sorry if this video is boring uh, this is honestly my first shot at it and I know I first started you know wanting to kind of go through and, and show you what my day looked like and I hope that you've seen some of that what with the attitude sorry I hope you've seen a little glimpse of that um, and kind of how I manage everything. Earlier, I think I did air quotes around manage because most days I don't feel like I'm managing. I feel like I'm just getting stuff done, if that makes sense. It's not organized, but it's done at the end of the day sometimes. Um, especially when I have a lot due, that's usually when I get a little frantic um, and I'm just all over the place. I have to catch myself because I find myself working on like three things at once and I'm like, no, stop. Like work on this, finish this, and then move on. So I know this has kind of been like tips and tricks, but also just like a day with me. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or like anything that you use to stay organized with work and school, even motivated, um, like how you stay motivated to get everything done, I would love to know. I guess this is when people would say like comment below. That just seems weird, but let me know. I wanna hear from you. Um, I keep talking because I don't want to do work, so I'm going to stop talking now and finish work. All right, I'm done working for the day. Woohoo! I got a lot done. Um, I still have some to do, but I got everything I needed to do today done. Thanks to my to-do list, um, my playlist on Apple Music of Nathaniel Ratliff and the Night Sweats. Um, that really got me through it. And coffee. So, um, I'm probably about to pop on a podcast or something and start cooking some dinner. Let's do it. Okay, fast forward. Nick is home. Say hi. Hello. We ate dinner and we're both very tired. So, we're going to bed now. Anything else you want to say to the people? And by people, I mean no one. Hello, people. <laughs> All right. I'm tuned. Bye.